Right, should we take a look at Speed Quizzing Live for version 2? Now, Speed Quizzing Live is the version of Speed Quizzing you can play over the internet using something like Zoom or something to communicate with the players. Rather than Speed Quizzing normal, what you can play in the pubs and things, this you can play over the internet. It's, a, it's relatively new. It's been around for about three or four months now, and it's in beta version. But I would, if you've not played before, if you're playing for the first time, I'd use this version 2. And if you play in version 1, you might want to look at version 2, two to see what's better about it, because it is better. Um, it's beta and it's better. Um, so you're going to press on that. And it opens speakers in version 2. So then I'm going to click start new quiz. There are loads of my old quizzes. Ignore them. Don't worry about them. I open that, it opens in a new window, and you can see there's three different um, entities. We've got the player screen. So the first thing to look at there is user workspace, so you can change them. You've got large screen, uh, that's for your large screen, no live screen. So you've got different presets there. What I like to do is I like to get my live screen in the top left hand corner, and I'll explain that why to you after. Okay. Get that perfectly placed right just in the corner there. Get that underneath it and you can resize all these things. The idea is so you can optimize your screen and get stuff where you need it. This is where your teams are going to be. If you're going to have four or five teams, you probably only need it to be that big. But if you're going to have loads of teams, you can have it massive like so. Okay, um, so I've got some devices here. So if you've not played before, um, I, there's a pin there. 1155. So you're talking to people over Zoom and they're playing using Zoom, but then they need another device with the Speed Quizzing Live app and they're going to put that pin in there, uh, which was 1155. 1155, enter. You should see them pop up on the screen. There you go. It just took me a minute to put this pin in all these. That one in. In. So now we've got um, four teams. Okay, ignore that little forward slash. That's something to do with the beta version. I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, I can move these around. Now I've got four teams in there. Now if I want them to, um, you, your players need to see that section of the screen. That's called the live screen there. Uh, they don't need to see this. They don't need to see this. But you would like them to see that. And this is where I'm going to give you a little zoom lesson. So let's assume you've got zoom open like I've got there. That's my zoom. And I need to share that section of the screen. So I'm going to click on share screen. And instead of just clicking uh, one of the windows or anything there, I'm going to click on advanced. And then I'll click share. And then what's happened there, that's the Zoom has bought up a box, a boundary box, saying, that's basically saying which bit of your screen do you want to share. You want to share this bit, okay, the live screen, exactly around the little internal grey area, like so. Okay, so now that's what they should be seeing, um, along with your face and, you know, on their... Uh, Zoom screen, they'll be able to see, should be able to see your face and whatever you've shared there. I've actually got, if we do this, what I've got, that is um, in a different browser. I've log, managed to log on so we can see what we're seeing. So that's what you'd be seeing there. That's what the player would be seeing. If I move that and accidentally do something like that, you'll see it's sharing that. If I do that, it's sharing that. Does that make sense? Good. I'm glad it does. Okay, that's sharing. Um, what you need to share. We'll leave that there. I'm going to open a round of questions. This is a, a round I made earlier. Let's say now it's, it's from one of my family quizzes I did the other day. Okay, start round. And there's three different types of questions. We're starting here with a letters question. Now, this if you're not from uh, if you're not from England, probably a strange question. This, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, I've turned. I've caught that with my hand and turned it off. That's that's gone white on there because one of the devices has, has had the app shut, and I accidentally pressed it. There, it's back. We're back in business. So the answer to this, as you can see down there, is C, Coronation Street. Okay. So you explain to people it's the first letter of the answer question. They just need to put the first letter of the answer. That's all they need to press. And if I press C on there, the correct answer, you'll see it pops up on the screen. Ten, Ten seconds. They've probably got it right. I've got four devices in front of me there. Five, 
So they've got it right, they've got it wrong. They pressed O. Three correct answers. The correct answer is, and I click the blue button at the same time, the correct answer is Coronation Street. You get the little sound effect. You can turn the sound effects up and down there. You've got, that's the applause uh, volume there. Timer volume for the 10 second countdown. Uh, three correct answers for the fastest correct answer. It's I Love Speed Quiz. He gets the two bonus points. So you'll see that that's what they can see on their screen as well. I Love Speed Quiz in there, because we're sharing that section of the screen. Oh, right, uh, so you'll see what happened there. It's set for six points for a correct answer, two bonus points for the fastest correct answer. So that you'd, you'd obviously announced that at the beginning of the quiz, that it's six points for a correct answer, two bonus points for the fastest. So you can see there, they got six points each. The fastest got eight points. Click next. It's gone to a, f uh, a multiple choice question now. Okay. There you go. Uh, so you explain to it's multiple choice. There'll be options... What year was Frozen released at cinemas? Okay, they put an answer in. Um, I can see on my screen there. You see there? Can you see the little mouse moving around? Uh, it's B2013. I can hide that by pressing number three on the keyboard if I want, but there's no real, no need for you to. But um, so they've got it. So the answer's B2013. So I'm going to make sure one, at least one of these teams gets it right. B, and your 10 seconds starts now. Ten. Another team got it right, and they've got right till the end. You'll see what'll happen here. Five. It's gone red, telling them they've got a long left to put their answer in. Three correct answers. The answer is B2013. And you can see that's emulating what's on there. And the fastest correct answer for the bonus points Made of Stone. An important thing I want to show you is. Um, when I was saying earlier about being able to move these screens around and things, it's to do with, um, you want to optimise, try and get that bit, the, the, the live screen, as big as you can. If you've got a, if you've got a, a cheap a, a laptop with not a very big screen, it is a compromise, this, because you need to fit everything on your screen, don't you? But getting that smaller and that bigger is the thing to do. Obviously, if you've got loads of teams, then you are going to need the room for that. But with us only having four teams, you can go quite small with that, you see. Uh, but I'll quickly explain to you the reason for this. Watch this. If I go nice and big with that, let's bring that down there. Nice and big as I can with that. The bigger it gets, the clearer it's going to look on there. Let me, if I then do this, watch this. See, that's quite clear. It's, got, it's, a, it's, it's a resolution thing, if that means anything to you. If I go to the... Ridiculous extreme of making this really small now. Watch this. There. Really small. And I put the bounding box around it. The zoom box. You've compromised the resolution, yeah? And the same, that'll apply the same uh, on the pictures, on the questions on here. Let's just do that same question we just did. Okay, that's spinning around. Now I go, what year was Frozen released? And we put the question on the screen. Ten. It doesn't look great, does it? And that's because, as I've explained there, we've gone too small with the thing. So basically, you just need to get that as big as you can without compromising too much the other stuff. So I'm now going to go bring that back to a sensible amount. Let's go sensible amount. Let's go, let's say there. It depends on your laptop, what sort of laptop it is, um, as to what is a sensible amount. You just need to use your common sense, really. That's back to looking pretty good now, I think. Uh, no one got it right. The answer is B, 2013. I'll move that back over there. I can sh make that a bit smaller if I want. You see what I'm doing? See what's going on? Right. I'm going to show you a picture question now. We haven't done a picture question yet, have we? Can I make that go away? Yeah. Um, right. A picture question. You see there's a picture there. That tells me it's a picture question. So I'm going to say to the people playing, right, it's a picture question. The picture's going to appear on the Zoom screen, not the player screen. On other speed quizzing, when you play it in a pub, then it appears on the, on the player screen on there. But it doesn't on speed quizzing live, it appears on the zoom screen. And I'm going to say, right, here comes a picture. In which year was this picture taken? A, 1890, B, 1910, C, 1930, D, 1950. And you can see it's on there, and it starts, therefore, that's what they can see at home. Decent resolution, that. Ten seconds. Ten. There are other things that come into play. Uh, that one's got that one right. There are other things that come into play with the resolution, like just your internet speed and things like that. 
Um, it can make a difference on what that looks like. So two correct answers. The answer is B, 1910. See, they got six points for getting it right. They got the two bonus points as well. Fastest correct answer. Quiz to the beat, also showing on your player's screen down there what they can see. Uh, don't want to spend too long on this now, but what you can do, I can put the points up there. I'm going to put that up to eight points, and I'm going to put four points for the fastest correct answer. Okay, I'll tell you what you can do. If you click sliding scale, I'll explain what that does. That will mean the four bonus points are on a sliding scale. So the fastest four teams will get four, three, two, one on a sliding scale on top of the eight points for getting it right. Let's do one. Picture question. Name the footballer. Okay. So you'd explain to people, right, it's a picture question. Picture's going to appear on the Zoom screen. Name the footballer. First letter, first name. I always you explain at the beginning of the game that when it's a person, it's always first letter, first name. In this instance, his, his, name's, his surname's same as his first name anyway. P, I've pressed P. They've got it wrong. Ten seconds starts now. By the way, you can use the space bar. Instead of pressing the blue button on there, you can use the space Ten. bar. There's a shortcut. They can see the 10 seconds going down on the thing. I'll use the space bar again. Watch this. Three correct answers. The answer is, watch me press the space bar. Watch this. You'll like this. Paul Pogba, fastest correct answer. There you go. So the space bar is a shortcut. Making sense. And now you'll see there, they all got eight points for getting it right. It says eight points down there. The fastest team got four bonus points. Second fastest got three bonus points. Third fastest got um, two bonus points, so they've got ten. Does that make sense? I'm hoping I'm not making it too complicated for you. Let's see if I can find a numbers question. There you go, number question. So you say, right, it's a number question, everyone. It's a, it's a four-digit answer. In what year did opposing troops in the trenches of World War I leave their posts on Christmas Day to play football in no man's land? So in this instance, they've got to type in 1941. Enter. Okay, they've got it wrong. Let's get it right with this one. 19, um, what is it? 19, 14, it tells me on there. Enter. 10 seconds, starts. Use the space by for 19, 14. Five. Enter. 19, 14, enter. So three of these should get it right on the sliding scale. They have three correct answers. The answer looking for is... 1914. For the fastest correct answer, it's Go Go Gadget. Well done, Gadget, Go Go Gadget. You'll notice it plays a bit of music for the uh, when the fastest team, a different bit of music. You can turn that down by using them sliders there, the one what's called buzzers. will turn that down. Uh, it will actually mute it, I think, if you go all the way down. But it's nice to have the bit of music on there. Is there anything else? There should be what we call a sequence question if I scroll through here. I hope there is. I really do. There you go. Put the, the this one will do. Okay, so it's what you call a sequence question. And you can see there's dots on the screen. Them dots will uh, change to things, to words, and you're gonna put them in order. Put these car parts in size order, starting with the smallest. So when I click the show, show list on there, these should all at the exact same time. There you go, change. And they've then got to put as fast as they can, they're going to put them in order. I can click on that. You see what it says show on live screen? So you can see them on the live screen there as well now. So, how am I going to do it with this? I'm going to go car wheel nut, car beretta, car wheel, car engine, car. And see how I've done at that 10 seconds. 10. Uh, two of them didn't get their answers in in time, only one got it right. The correct answer is car wheel nut, car beretta, car wheel, car engine, car. Well done. I press the space bar. Fastest correct answer. I love speed cuisine. That's all I really want to show. I'll tell you what I'm going to show you now. The, oh yeah, the scoreboard. This is, this is a, the best new introduction in uh, speed cuisine 2. Is at any point I can click on there and show you the scores. So that also then obviously appears on their screen, what you're sharing with them. 
Um, I will show you, um, what I was going to show you is, that'll do, that'll do. I'll do some more tutorials with other bits in because I think I've done all right there. Um, see you all. Thanks for watching this. There'll be some more tutorials. That's Speed Cuisine version two. By the way, you can play at the moment, the current way it's working is you can write your own questions or you can pay for our questions. If you use our questions uh, that day, you can connect up to 50 players. If you're using your own questions, you can only connect up to 12 players. Then you have to pay to use more than 50. If that makes sense, hopefully it does. See you all. Thanks very much for watching.